Water quantity. Water quantity is used to describe the amount of water in a watershed, in the state, and in your local area. Montana is sometimes called the headwaters of the continent since it contains the headwaters for three large continental watersheds, the St. Mary's River, which flows to the Hudson Bay, the Columbia River, which flows to the Pacific Ocean, and the Missouri River, which flows to the Gulf of Mexico. In Montana, all waters above and below the surface of the earth are held by the state on behalf of its citizens. The state is divided into seven major river basins, Kootenai, Clark Fork, Upper Missouri, Lower Missouri, Yellowstone, Little Missouri, and St. Mary. More than 170,000 miles of streams and rivers meander through Montana. Only three states have more miles of streams than Montana, Alaska, California, and Texas. Streams and rivers, lakes and reservoirs, and oceans are called surface water. Montana's streams are diverse. We have perennial streams that flow year-round, intermittent streams, which dry up for part of the year, but flow sometimes because of groundwater that enters the stream channel, and ephemeral streams that only flow after a rain or snow melt event. Of the over 170,000 miles of rivers and streams in Montana, there are 53,000 miles of perennial streams. The other 117,000 miles are intermittent streams. For all of the rivers and streams, the biggest stream flow occurs during April, May, and June as snow melts and spring rains fall. Montana's landscape is also dotted with more than 10,000 lakes and reservoirs and thousands of smaller wetlands, stock ponds, and other water bodies. Most of the natural lakes occupy larger depressions carved by glaciers in the mountains of the western part of the state. Much of Montana's surface water is stored in reservoirs, artificial water bodies whose levels are controlled by dams. Some of the more familiar reservoirs in Montana include Fort Peck, Flathead Lake, and the Ruby Reservoir. Larger, multi-purpose reservoirs were constructed by the federal government for hydroelectric power generation, flood control, storage for irrigation, and recreation. Many of the reservoirs are owned and managed today by the state of Montana, the federal government, or private utilities. Between all of the rivers, streams, and lakes, in an average year, almost 44 million acre-feet of water flow out of Montana. An acre-foot is a unit of volume commonly used to measure and describe large water resources. One acre-foot is a foot of water that covers an acre of ground. A football field, not including the end zones, is about nine-tenths of an acre. And one acre foot supplies a family of five for one year. Of 44 million acre feet leaving Montana over the year, 65% of the water originates from within Montana's borders. The remainder flows into the state from Wyoming, Idaho, and Canada. Diverse weather patterns across the state ultimately affect the nature of the local streams. Most of eastern Montana receives little precipitation and is classified as semi-arid. Western Montana receives much more rain. Areas within each region, though, experience extremes that make Montana both water-rich and water-poor with localized floods and droughts. Because of this influence, weather is monitored closely by water managers who need to know the current conditions of the snowpack, stream flow, and reservoir levels in order to provide for Montana's water needs. In addition to surface water, groundwater must be considered when discussing water quantity. Groundwater is water located beneath the surface in soil pore spaces and in fractures of rock formations. These underground layers of saturated sediment deposits or fractured bedrock, known as aquifers, store and transmit large amounts of water. Aquifers are recharged by precipitation and stream flow. In turn, they recharge streams during the later summer and other periods of low stream flow. As water from irrigation and precipitation soaks through the surface, or when it seeps out of wetlands, rivers, streams, or lakes, it recharges the groundwater. What's the connection between groundwater and surface water? Groundwater and surface water are connected in all but rare conditions. 
During seasonal dry periods and droughts, many Montana streams would be reduced to trickles if not for groundwater inflow. Groundwater contributes 48% of Montana's public water supply. In some parts of the state, groundwater is the only reliable source of drinking and stock water. Water use can be estimated as either the water withdrawn or the water consumed for a particular purpose. Water withdrawn refers to water extracted from the ground or from a surface water source, as shown here. It is considered water use because, although the water is being used, some of it re-enters the system downstream as return flow. Water consumed refers to water no longer available for use because it has evaporated, transpired through natural vegetation, been consumed by humans or livestock, or used for crop production or industrial applications. Although water use varies around Montana, irrigation accounts for approximately 12.4% of the water withdrawn and over 67% of water consumed in the state. There are many resources available that keep up-to-date information on water levels, snow levels, and potential drought conditions. If you want more information, any of these sites are great places to start looking and to understand your local water. The U.S. Geological Survey, or USGS, provides current data on the flow rates on rivers throughout Montana. This screenshot shows only a small portion of the streams that have ongoing flow data. Check out the webpage and scroll through all of the resources. Skiers love the Snowtel site. This site provides daily snow levels for sites throughout the West. Click on All Sensors data and then look under the current weather year for snow accumulation near you. The Department of Natural Resources and Conservation, or DNRC, has specific information and reports on each basin in Montana. In addition, the site has information and links to reports and data that is gathered by other state agencies and organizations. Montana has an official drought and water supply website. It contains current maps of the surface water supply and moisture conditions in Montana by county and for the whole state. In addition, it has overall drought information for the United States. The Montana Bureau of Mines and Geology holds a lot of water data. For more in-depth information about the surface water in Montana, click on the surface water icon in the lower right corner of the webpage. After clicking on the surface water icon, your browser will take you to this page. Use the icons under the current base map to determine the amount of information you want showing on the active map. By hovering your mouse over one of the station icons on the map, you can see more information about that particular gauging station. In addition to surface water information, the Montana Bureau of Mines and Geology has data on groundwater through the Groundwater Information Center, GWIC. Much of the data can be accessed through the website. The data includes well completion reports from drillers, measurements of well performance and water quality, and historic water level measurements at various wells. If you would like more information, be sure to watch our other four water modules and check out the PDF document water resources, agencies, and other resources links that can be found on the same page you found this module. Thank you for watching. This presentation was developed by the Montana Water Course with funding from the Environmental Protection Agency and was produced by Mountain Goat Instructional Design.